Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here. Welcome back to Disney Speedstorm. We are going to continue on with the current season tour because, well, why not? And I did adjust my volume so you can hear me a little bit better. But we're starting off the season tour with Inside the Storm Inside of Me. Oh, because that's a reference to the song. If I was to get the rewards <laughs> at the end, we will be able to get more Ana charges. Like, we really need that because we do have Ana already unlocked. But we're going to get started with the season tour with level 17. Frozen Ice character. Um, can you guys do, do it? No, they desperately can cannot. Um, I'm going to go with like Hans on this one because this might be one of the... Oh, I didn't know we had a new crew member to add. That's good to know. Who do I want to quip? I'm definitely going to quip you. <laughs> I'm random troll. I don't really know, but let's get to it with Hans because Hans why not? Hans. And yes, we do have all the Frozen characters which I'm very happy about. Um, I don't know if it will be possible, um, but in this attempt we're going to try and get as many purple coins as we probably can which I think is going to be very unlikely, but we can see what we can do, and then we'll do it at the end, because, yeah, I should have grinded beforehand. Sorry if I'm still a bit sick. But I've been sick basically all month long, which is odd because the month isn't that long to begin. But let's get to it. Come on. Let's go beat them all with Hans or the Southern Eyes. Because, yeah, as they're playing Sonic. I don't hate playing as Hans. I really don't. I'm starting to really like some of the Frozen characters. I really do want to um, get better legs with Anna and, um, oh, brrr, names. They heart Elsa. But he may be fun characters to play. Uh, Jesse. Jesse's are really annoying online. Like, oh my goodness. Like, like so. They're just really brutal characters. Or really brutal online. See, like that. I did nothing to provoke her. Well, maybe this. But aside from that, nothing. I didn't do anything to provoke her. And now she's all upset at me. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But anyway, how is everyone doing today? I'm uh, doing okay. Um, I had to get up early today, which is great because I can just work on stuff. It's always a blessing for me. Or not a blessing, I shouldn't say, because I hate when someone's like, oh, bless. But it's really good because I can just focus on work. I want, to, I want today to be a work day. Because I'm going to work on a lot of videos. My plan is I want to record four a day. Which I think is very doable. Because part is like, older me would want to do four videos in a row. Ow. But we took down Goofy with it. So thank God for that. Um, but I was also late because I was watching um, some stuff I missed from the Game Awards. Um, thank God there was no Bill Clinton kid this year. Um, part of me is like, I'm happy for the Game Awards that there was no Bill Clinton kid. Because um, I'm gonna totally destroy you, Goofy, when I get up to you. Like so, haha. <laughs> but you hit me too, okay? That was my special, but. I'm gonna get this ready in Goofy decides to be evil about it. That felt good. Did he fall off the map too? He did not. Okay. They did like nothing because he's still right behind me. Interesting. Um. But yeah, I, I'm curious to see how that Bill Clinton kid. Apparently, that kid is like really super religious. Like, he goes on these bunch of these podcasts and like, oh, yeah, welcome to the hell and all this. He's like, what? But I give credit for credit, sir, and he was able to sneak on the stage there. Like, sorry, that shouldn't be an impressive thing, but it's like, wow. That was good. I'm surprised Baller's Gate 3 won. Like, seriously, Baller's Gate 3 won? Really? I get it's all impressive, but based on what I've seen from like everyone like in the video game landscape, it beat Legend of Zelda, which is downright impressive, but I don't really like Breath of the Wild. Also, if you can hear, my neighbors are having a lot of lawnmower people are in early, which is very interesting. Because it's like, hey, why well, do you have so many lawnmower people in this morning? What's like, this? ah, because we can. But anyway, I did upgrade my mic with Asking, which is great. Uh, because I do like playing his mic, but we're going to continue on to forging ahead. Great pun. Um, level 17. Let's go with Lilo, because we don't normally play as Lilo. Someone really different <laughs> for us to play as. I like making things different and unique here. It's what we do. We have fun on this channel when we can. But anyway, let's get to it. Sorry, I got distracted. Again, that lawnmower's going off. I hate lawnmowers with like a burning in there. Because they are really annoying. But I'm trying to regret using Lilo now because Lilo doesn't have the boost thing on me. 
but it will allow me to do that. Haha! -ha. Take that, suckers. Feel the wrath of a little girl. As we also do the stuff. I prefer the surfing version. I really don't care for the photography version. Even though this one's harder to control, duh. It really is. I like Aladdin <laughs> much better than Rio. In that regard of the ability. But I'm just thinking. Because then you can at least control Aladdin's as the carpet. Since you can't really control, it's meant to hurt enemies. But anywho, duh. I wonder how Lilo would feel about the cold. I know there's probably an episode of Lilo and Stitch the series, uh, which I haven't seen recently. I know there's a Christmas episode. Because there's always a Christmas episode. Okay, that's not necessarily true, because Tingle didn't have a Christmas episode, but I think they technically did with Queen for a day. Which is a great episode because it has the um, Proud of Your Boy. Um, not Proud of Your Boy, Make You Proud. Proud of Your Boy is a song from, um, oh, the Aladdin musical. It was a cut song, actually. But I know that because I study some Disney stuff. Proud of Your Boy. I shouldn't be singing because again, I can't sing for crap. You no, know, someone's gonna be like, hey, you have a good music voice. I wanna represent you as your Asian. I'm like, <laughs> no. I know what Asians do. At least with the photo thing, I can do it, but I think that requires a lot of. Um, ah! Good that I just fell off there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what I was doing with that train of thought at all. I'm trying to get the manual boost because it's at least five. So, whoa! We'll prolong it a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, we can prolong it a lot, actually. That's pretty good. Grind rail, go. There we go. And I guess we'll do the surf, even though it doesn't help us here, because I lack control. Okay, that felt needed. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> let's get the little boost going. Come on. See if we can boost one more time. <laughs> Dead. Sorry again if I'm coughing. But it's just because I've been really sick recently. It hasn't been going a whole lot of way. And also, I found a person that I, I'm living with is also sick. So I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I got them sick, and they're also continuously getting me sick. Thank goodness our dog, Rolf, isn't sick. I'd be a bit concerned, but I don't think um, human infections affect uh, dogs as much. I could be wrong. Someone's going to be like, you're wrong. I was like, okay, good to know. Single skill. <laughs> Sorry. I do really do. I, mean, I really do apologize for that. I'm gonna go so with. Mm, you can dream it. You can do it. Don't worry mm, about who me. Who I want to play? I'm gonna go with Timbo uh, Mickey on this one because something different. <coughs> oh, that hurt my head this time. Oh wow, that's impressive. It hurts my skull. <laughs> wow, that is some impressive coughing. If you cough so hard, it hurts your head. Wow. That hurt. I love how there's a sail in that car. How does this thing work again? Speaking of Steamboat Mickey, because he's here, um, I know it feels like an odd transition, but they're having an Oswald event, which I do want to cover online, because I do want to try and unlock Oswald. I think Oswald would be a fantastic character to unlock. Uh, Oswald is one of my favorite Disney characters of all time, mainly because of history reasons. Um... But I do love Oswald. Um, <laughs> my family makes this joke about it. And my sister went to school. And they were watching this thing about Walt Disney. And about never giving up. And saying, like, he succeeded with his first ever try, Mickey Mouse. I'm so happy that the Oswald the Lucky Rabbit story... He's like more common knowledge than anything else. That's just really impressive to me because when I was younger, we didn't know who Oswald the Rabbit was. You did? You were like really well known in like animation history. And I'm so happy that kids they know who Oswald Lucky Rabbit is. It makes me so beyond happy. Um, Especially when some people screw up the facts. Uh, my sister was telling me about it. Well, what they said. I'm just like, well, this is what really happened. 
and that Oswald was basically stolen from him. Um, but there's a whole bunch of legal stuff. I, I think some person out there is going to be like, if you look at the records, like, I don't know if those legal documents are like legally available because Disney will do their best to protect their brand. Not saying that's a horrible thing. It makes things interesting, especially during copyright stuff. Um, but um, I'd be mean, curious to see if they have the legal documents between Walt Disney and um, I, I wasn't up because Up was one of his animation friends who helped co-create Mickey. <laughs> Sorry. No. I wish I wasn't so sick. I really do. I really, really do. But um. Man, where was I? Um, I would like to see the legal documents, and I would love to see a lawyer just look at those legal documents that Walt signed at the time to see how much of it was actually he was actually in the wrong for. I I I know it's like, oh, how dare you say I'm like in a Disney video, but it's like I kind of like to know the legal specifications of it. Um, like if Walt did ultimately get screwed over, or if it was just very very much. Um, the Himming's group. Sorry, sorry, over. So we have to get to level 34 to get the next uh, gold token, which I think is possible, actually. But we are going to continue on with Demir Circuit. I do want to get that. Because, yeah, but I do apologize a lot for being sick. Um. Good old fashioned roundup. They don't call me Sheriff Speedy for nothing. Time to see the I'm world. going to go with. I know this is going to be obvious. Yeah, how dare you? I'm going to go with Steamboat Pete on this one. Just to do something completely different. You know, I like changing things up. But no, um, also, people bring this up a lot. And um, I, bring, I brought this up too. It's one of my most favorite, like, historical facts to keep really close to my chest. Um, to be people at bar nights. <laughs> um,. Pete is actually the oldest Walt Disney character ever made. Boom. Even though their legal disclaimer is it's not Peg Leg Pete. Um, so yeah. Yeah, for those who don't know, um, technically um, Pete is, uh, is Peg Leg Pete. Was the original incarnation of the character. Whoa. I feel cough coming again. I'm going to try and suppress it. But um, the whole story is in actuality like Peg Leg Pete because he was part of the Owls comedy. Which, to my knowledge, aren't on Disney+. Plus. The Silly Symphony stuff is, because Walt did make that part of Disney, so... Yeah. How was I able to stun them? Oh yeah, because it just creates oil spells. Forgot. I really do love <laughs> about Pete. It reminds me of my favorite level in Kingdom Hearts 2. Which is Timeless Fury. Love that level. Oh my goodness, it's just a great one. Kingdom Hearts 2, I still think, is one of the best Disney games of all time. Mm. Keep, or just Kingdom Hearts in general. It just celebrates all of it. It has great remixes and a great story. Mm. Anywho, that's me just gushing about how much I love Kingdom Hearts. I hope there's a Kingdom Hearts scene in this. Because I think that would be just amazing. Oh, that's a good question. Who would I include? I'm sorry, no one asked. <laughs> But if I had to include Kingdom Hearts, who would I include? Mm. You have to have Sora, without a doubt. And I feel like s you'd have to have Sora. I feel like you'd have to have Riku, too. I feel like you'd have to have Aqua to have a female racer there. I know they would have Roxas over Axel, but I would personally just love Axel. Axel's my favorite Kingdom Hearts character. I actually saw his I have a figure of him. Actually, he's the only character I have a figure in a Funko Pop for. Um, which I love. Because I love Axel. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. I loved when Kingdom Hearts was very more commercial available, which I love. I wish um, Final Fantasy VII was a lot more accessible, like a merchandise in the States. And then I can get a little Aerith figure. Because, oh my god, I love Aerith. Aerith is amazing. One of my favorite games of the game. I love the new franchises. I'm so happy about the remakes of Final Fantasy VII because it was great to see incorporated into 
Um, I, I was so happy to play them because they're not as accessible for me. Even though they are, um, Final Fantasy VII, the complete game, is on Nintendo eShop, which I might buy. Because I don't have a PS5 at the moment, and I'm not going to try and get one before um, the release of Rebirth. I did order Rebirth, because I thought it'd be nice, neat to have. <laughs> I thought it'd be neat. But that's a really true assessment, because I really am looking forward to that game. I'm so happy you won uh, most of this big game. But my plan is, I'm going to complete these soon, and then end the part, I think. Um, <laughs> let's go blue of all people. No, let's go. I'll be your hero. I'm gonna go with Jafar. I can quickly upgrade him just so I can. He's a lot more viable in this. I love playing Jafar. <laughs> he's one of my favorite villain characters to play because he isn't too heavy, which is great. Again, I do apologize for being sick. Anyway, um. I can't wait for the little... <laughs> as soon as I said that, I needed to cough. <clears throat> the Little Mermaid wave is coming up after um, this season, which... Um, I hope they knock it out of the park with the Little Mermaid season, because it'll be a great start to the new year, I think. Um, of them, again, I think... Um, I'm a bit worried if they do four racers. I just... My thing with that is I don't mind as long as it's not excessive racers. Like, I think the Leo and Stokes one was a bit... Excessive on their character choices. Unlike Aladdin, which I thought was the right amount of characters. As soon as they said four, I'm like, oh, okay, who are going to be the four? Who's three, four? <laughs> I was a bit worried the same thing when they announced the Frozen was going to be five. I was like, oh, who are going to be the five Frozen characters? I, I did not think Kristoff was deserving enough a character spot, in all honesty. But I get why he was chosen. Haha, <laughs> take that, Donald, even though you're close to the ground now. Um, but I get why they chose it. I'm also surprised Hans is a character. I would have been all honesty taking Marshmallow as a character over... Um, hey, then, but I'm surprised Ashra wasn't included. Um, ow. He just bumped me and I was confused. Good. To no figment. But I'm surprised Ashra wasn't included to celebrate with. I miss kind of with that corporate um, cross promotion stuff like you would see in video games. That's what makes this game any kind of interesting. In that you would have like these characters from the video uh, movies that were coming out. Like, I think it's the only real reason people still remember the Lone Ranger. Oh boy. Um, I rewatched it actually. It was not the best movie. I'm surprised it's not on Disney Plus, but I think it's because of the whole depth situation, the Army Hammer situation. Which I was reviewing a bunch of stuff with Army Hammer recently. Whatever I have to do, I'm just like, oh, it's an accused candle. Because um, I always want to put accuse before I end it, but there's like a series about it. Um, I <laughs> do not really want to dive into that stuff. Um... <laughs> Yeah, there's like there were like several documentaries, which I thought was like bad timing. Like it was that whole um, R. Kelly stuff kind of again. Yeah. For those who know R. Kelly did some questionable stuff. Uh, he made some good songs. Um, he made some questionable life decisions. Um, but I think stuff like that can be too disturbing, especially when it's not well timed. There's also a way that makes it feel. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> um, Malicious. I think there has to be the right time to do that because then you're not really exploiting what has happened to these people. Um, which is what I thought um, the um, Army Hammer stuff was. Oh, what did we unlock? Really? We increased Beast. That is great. 